What's up everybody and welcome back here to Forza Horizon 4 on the LEGO expansion testing out the new base as you can see we do have a different type of camera angle now but the camera angle is a lot cooler we have a handbrake up top which uh gotta get remember where it is because I keep uh, forgetting that it's up here now I keep trying to grab here so it is in a nicer position for when I'm doing tandems and such but I gotta remember it's there center console Shifter's a little bit lower as well, so I we just got to get used to it. So we are pretty much doing a full function test. You guys can see the dashboard a little bit better too with the angle of the camera and everything now. So like I said, we're doing a full test. I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the build of the sim rig. So it's kind of just a function test here for today because then we are going to do some more custom work to it with the... Uh, burning some images into it staining it and stuff like that and that is when I will do full cable management and everything because right now the cables are kind of everywhere but I wanted to make sure I got this thing fully tested before I went and stained it and now that it's looks like it's running good we're gonna just do some drifting have a little fun kind of get back into it and uh, then I will start my cable management and get everything all tucked nice and cleanly but it does feel so much nicer with the way it sets how stronger it is more sturdier it is the placement of the wheel and the fact that I now have seat sliders so my friends can drive it my uh, wife can drive it and everything because the seat slides easier so it's a little bit easier to do driver changes and stuff so we're gonna be doing some more endurance racing on the channel with my buddies and stuff like that and uh, that will be done once the PC gets built, which is coming very soon. Going to be doing a full PC so that we can start running a set of Corsa and everything like that. And probably do be doing a Oculus Rift as well. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the setup video of the new base. And uh, there will be more... Oh, oh geez. More videos of this base coming with the finalizing of coloring, whether it's painted, stained, burned images, and stuff like that. Monitor placement, when I decide where I want to actually mount the monitor, I do have a monitor mount mounted to the rig right now, and it seems to work pretty well. It doesn't move around a lot, but we're going to work on some other, uh, other placement options, maybe off the rig with this monitor mount, so that it's not directly mounted to the base. Ugh! Ugh! been definitely a minute since I've been on here but if you guys are liking this new camera style view let me know down in the comment section because it is a little bit of a different angle now on the base but you can kind of see everything you get a better view of my digital dash down there so because I don't run the dash and everything on the games anymore so it gives you a better view of that which is probably good for you guys to see like gearing and stuff like that and red line and getting stopped on Lego bricks. So we're just kind of freestyling, doing a system check on the base. Now the handbrake does feel good being up here. I kind of have to go full arm extension to get to it. it may, some people may not find that comfortable, but when you're in tandem, you gotta be as close as you can to the wheel. So most rally cars or drift cars have handbrakes kind of like right by the wheel. And uh, a lot of the FD guys do have the handbrakes similar in the similar position that I do um, which you know some people may not find very comfortable but I'm starting to uh, get the feel of it maybe I need to modify my handle so it's a little bit more vertical rather than angled forward uh, or space it out and lean it back a little bit so there's little little tweaks and little things I need to uh, address but pretty much the way the wheel sits is very comfortable for me the way the wheel uh, you know, Ackerman is according to the angle and being able to see my dash and the monitor placement and everything is really nice. Super excited to have the new setup. I hope uh, a lot of you guys that were commenting saying they've been waiting for this video to come out so they could build their own setup actually build a setup. And if you do build a setup, I would love to see it. I would love for you guys to send me pictures on Instagram if you guys build a base based on my little tutorial video and stuff like that. I'd be very interested to see it and uh, see what you guys come up with with my new tweaks and stuff like that for your personal preference rather than uh, you know my uh, my style because you know you may find that it's too close and you may want to modify it a little bit more 
or things like that when you build it yourself. So I think we're going to hop into the actual racetrack, drift around the, uh, the LEGO World racetrack. We are going to go back to the main lens here very shortly, as well as Forza Motorsport 7, getting ready for the next round of SSR. Going to be working with the uh, iTandem guys, some of the JSI guys, and the TUS guys to get that 370 fully dialed in for the next track. The next track's very interesting, and uh, tease a little bit. It has some of a bank, um, and it's uh, quite interesting. So it's going to take some time to get used to and get the car dialed in correctly. So like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let me know if you guys like this angle on the camera, being able to see everything, because you get kind of an over-the-shoulder look. You can see my wheel movement in place, like my inputs. You can see my handbrake input and the shifters. But you also get to see the dash and everything. It's kind of more of a streamlined view. It's over the shoulder. You know, it's kind of, it's not like on my chest. So, because I've always done this over the shoulder style uh, wheel cam, whereas like other YouTubers like Slop Train and all them use like chest mounted wheel camera. This has kind of just been my style. And, you know, I've, I've always loved having a physical base camera right behind me so you can kind of see more of it. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm always up for suggestions. You know, let me know if there's something specific you want to see here on the channel. More Torque Drift is going to be coming. Going to be doing some uh, other builds in Torque Drift on some cars. Bringing back some other cars that I've built before, but uh, kind of got put on a back burner. Apparently completed the challenge. And they're going to be coming back in full swing here very shortly, as well as live streams on Horizon, Motorsport, and Torque Drift. It feels so nice to be back behind the rig. The new rig for sure because there was a good, say almost week and a half, two week lull where I was not behind the behind the rig and it was uh it was itching me to get back behind the setup and when I was building a new setup I couldn't wait to just get it done and uh, get sliding again but I wanted to make sure I built it right and not rushed it. That's why it took a little bit longer but we're back we are sliding and we are going to be ripping the next round of SSR as well as doing some open lobbies here on Horizon and Motorsport. Want to get more of the community involved in my live streams and using the rig more and more in live streams rather than just torque drift. So, and with the ability of building the PC very soon, I'm going to be switching into some set of Corsa, set of Corsa mods and stuff like that. So that's definitely going to be a big kicker. And now that my rig acclimates to shorter people, I get my, uh, might get my wife on here, get her sideways, get her sliding, as well as a couple of my buddies and stuff like that, who you've seen on the channel before. But get them sliding, get some drift practice. Maybe uh, do a, a series on uh, teaching a noob to drift or, you know, teaching somebody who's never used a wheel how to drift and, like, so you can see the trials and tribulations of what it is to learn how to drift on a wheel in these sims because it's not easy. So that could be something that I'm very intrigued about doing, getting some of my friends who want to learn how to drift in behind the rig and get teaching them how to drift and doing a whole segment about that of learning how to drift on a wheel because that may help a lot of other people out who are just starting out on wheels learning how to uh, really get sideways on these cars in these games. I'm loving the new setup. I love how it sits. There's no movement, no flex, nothing like just it's really solid. So I can't, you know, fathom how excited I am with this. I bet you guys can tell with how giddy I am talking about it, but it's definitely just an amazing thing to have. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for your support and everything on Instagram and on the channel and everything like that. Thank you guys for coming back all the time. I appreciate every single one of you guys leaving me comments and all that stuff. So like I said, if you guys have any suggestions of stuff you want to see on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, i like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, more stuff coming, and I'll see you guys on the track in Torque Drift or in the games. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.